And that looks yummy. Smells just tasty. This does not smell great. No, uh, so, you know, a primal plate, um, typically our goal is to be more educational and show simple recipes that, you know, maybe not everyone knows. Today we're being more experimental, we're cooking carp. I've never cooked carp before. Everything I've read says it's pretty good. I've cooked lots of fish, I love fish. This is a grass carp. This is a grass carp, uh, shot out of our uh, lovely Missouri. All I can tell you right now is it's super slimy, it has a strong smell. I was starving when I showed up at Luke's house today and now I am not very hungry. <laughs> I'm hoping we're gonna be pleasantly surprised. We're gonna go for a simple cooking of it where we're just gonna fillet it and then um, just slice it to, to fry the Y bones out, we'll get into that, and just season it and toss it in the fryer like you would any other fish. We'll just dig in. Uh, my hands are super slimy, I'm afraid I'm gonna slip on the knife. Do you know, does the slime add any extra seasoning? Well, it's gonna add something. Seasoning is a strong word. Flavor might be a better word. The only time I've ever smelled them is when they've been sitting in a cart bucket for four to six hours, however long you shoot them. All day, in the heat, never been an appetizing smell. No. Never. But, I mean, this is a pretty average size for what we shot that day. Yeah. You I mean, get, you had a bigger one than you this. You get a pretty decent chunk of meat off of it. That is really cold meat. It's lighter than I expected. That is a lot of meat. It, yeah, I mean, if it's good, it's like, you know, how many have we overlooked? I'm fine or with fertilize. That. I'm fine with that. Usually a lot of people use them for fertilizer. Yeah, that's in all the tournaments that we do. They just fill up them dump trailers, throw them in the farmer's field somewhere. Well, it used to be a delicacy. Um, yeah, isn't that why they ended up in the United States? Is because people brought them over because they wanted to eat them? Exactly, yeah. I think there was just a lot cleaner water as when we got here. They just, we had so many channels and tributaries that they just filled up on. The meat just already looks different though. I mean, it, it's white, but it's, it's already mushy. Just toss it back in there. <laughs> You're leaving some of the best parts on there. Work. Hot. Yeah, no. Appetizer. Here, here, get a shot of this, man. That is yummy. So once it's cleaned, it, it's really not, it doesn't look that bad. It's just a dang slimy fish. You take anything away from this, folks. Clean your fish at your friend's house. It's like yeah. teaching your dog to poop in your yeah. neighbor's yard. You don't just, have to worry it about just it. makes sense. Especially when it's a carp. <laughs> <laughs> Things we do at Midwest Outdoor Chasers that just make sense. Make messes at Luke's house. True that. I mean, how does the meat feel? Um, different than other fish. It's it like, looks like it looks mushier. It feels, yeah, like less textured, like smooth kind of I wouldn't say oh yeah is mushy like a good term to use for food no I'm not sure talking it's about not baby. firm we'll put it that way I Man. would think that grass carp would have to be the cleaner of the species yeah because they primarily just eat vegetation off the bank and in the water right. so I guess it's a grazer but at the same time you got to think of the water that's coming out of too well, I mean look, if it's the beef of fish the cow of fish Let's see if it tastes like beef. I'm gonna go with no. <laughs> that, but that's my hypothesis too. But I'm really hoping to be pleasantly surprised. If it's good, I'm gonna feel real bad about all the fish that we've shot over the years and never kept. What I read, what I read was to get rid of the mud line. So I'm gonna really? plan on doing that. And you get this in catfish too. There's tons of bones. That's one thing about carp that you read everywhere is that it's 
a lot of people, A, don't want to eat it because of the fish that it is, and B, because once you do fillet it, it's very tedious. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is try and cut a bunch of slits in it to get the bones to cook out. If you have a mushy dish, folks, leave the bones in. Be good for a crunch. You got a kid that doesn't like the texture of his food? Leave the bones in. Definitely do not feed this to your child, like your young child, until you're sure there's no bones. So right. what's everybody ranking this? What like before we try it, what are you guys thinking? Are you like scale of one to ten? Ten being walleye, flathead, crappie, your good stuff. What do you think this is gonna weigh? I'm gonna put it at a seven. I'm gonna put it at Six. I think I think I'm being pretty optimistic with the seven. I feel a lot better now than we did when we just flopped the fish out. Yeah, it, and it does not smell like it did. With yeah, the yeah. The fillets don't carry the odor, which is bumping its rating up yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I'm gonna go four. This You're is, gonna go four. I'm gonna go the four. Guy that's been, wow. Just because I've seen too like, many of these things in the bottom of a, of a cart barrel for so many cool. years. Yeah, that, that might be like just in your head. Well, I don't know. I hope I'm wrong. Hope yeah. I'm wrong. But I'm going to give it a four, a pre four. A little shake and bake. I was a little aggressive with it there. Got to finesse it though. Give it, like, you can just imagine it flipping up and down in there. And do you Flip want the fish. batter to go into the cuts pretty well? Yeah, so it looks like. Oh we yeah. really got it. Got it in there pretty decent. I might keep shaking it just for fun while we get the oil heated up. Honestly, now that it's battered, it actually looks, looks pretty, pretty good. The bones are my main fear. Like, did we do it right small. to get the bones out? So we're shooting for oil temp about 350 degrees. We're at 200. So a couple more minutes, we'll be ready to toss that beautiful carp flesh in here. Here we go. One to ten on how good it will be to consume. Smell wise, it's a ten. Looks, I'm gonna bump it up to a five. I'm still. You not went from confident. a four to a five. It's an improvement. I'm not. I'm not confident about. It. I just. I don't know what. To I'll think. move my map to an eight. Oh boy. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm still. I'm thinking seven, eight. It looks way better, but I guess we'll find out. Yeah. All right. Well, everyone, grab a nugget. Watch out for bones. Did get some bone. But actually, Yo, that ain't bad. what's not boning is really good. That's a lot firmer than it was supposed to be. All right, let's try like maybe one of these that got maybe a little smaller piece here. It, the flavor's awesome, but we did not get the bones out. That's a nine or 10 flavor wise. I'm really bummed that we messed up on the bone. Because actually it's really good. It is really good. Cause it's real firm. I it mean, is, it, is it is really is firm. good. Yeah, like. Like I'm it's honestly sweet. surprised at how it tastes. But it's just like, bone. And it's not fishy. Bone. It's not fishy, no. No. 
Taste wise, I would put it right up there with Flathead and Walleye. Yeah, I would agree with you on that one. That flavor. Which is wise. shocking because Walleye is like the pinnacle. There, I got That's all the bones. Really, on. really good. It's shockingly I was wrong. good. I was wrong. If you're not experienced at all with with filleting fish, carp is not your first go about. You're looking at bones like that in about every bite, and it's not like one. It's like several. Yeah, I and mean, I, I think it was just our error. Yeah, because people eat this all the time. There's got to be a way. Got to be. A, maybe we didn't cook it long enough or at the right heat. Like or, that's that's like a sixteenth of an inch thick bone. Taste wise, it's excellent. Mm. Yeah, it's excellent. So if, if you guys have ever cooked carp in any other way, or if you guys have any tips, let us know because we would definitely like to do this right because this is phenomenal. I would love to do it right because the, the flavor is great. It's I am blown away. Would it's you, not fishy at all. It smelled absolutely freaking disgusting an hour ago. Now it's actually very appetizing, minus these darn bones. Would you keep more, Ryan, now? Honestly, I mean, this is one fish, and it was a, it was a decent size. I think it was... Wasn't the biggest. It was eight or ten pounds. Yeah. And we probably pulled, I don't know, a pound and a half, almost two pounds of meat off of it. I mean, I could eat that as a meal. Yeah. It's just yeah, it's soon, actually phenomenal. As soon as I get going, I crunch down. Bone, yeah. It definitely don't smell like it tastes. Uh, you're exactly right on that, dude. It did seem like the thinner pieces had less bone. So maybe we just didn't cook it long enough. Because we only went five minutes, if less that, than yeah. ten, for sure. Uh, so it's definitely a learning experience. Uh, you know, like I said at the beginning of the video, we try to be more educational on our, our Primal Plate channel. Today was more experimental and hopefully you guys can help us out and send us some recipes or tips or something so that we can make this again and get it right. It's kind of shocking to see all the fish that you consider trash fish that you've thrown out and put in the fields for fertilizer for farmers and stuff when it's it's actually delicious. I mean, it minus the bones, it's it's fantastic and that's not that's no joke. I, I will bump my 4 and 5 up to a solid 9. Wow. wow. That the only reason it's not a 10 is because of the bones. What would, it's, be, what would be a 10? A, a 10 would be an excellent walleye fillet. If you could get every single one of those nuggets without a bone in it, I'd eat it all day. Yeah. I'd stock the freezer. Our website just got finished up. It's live. Uh, you can purchase any one of our products that we have. We've got some sweatshirts, hats. Uh, we do have our Less Life t-shirts on. Um, we've got this sage green, and then we also offer uh, a woman's v-neck that's in the same maroon color as that. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Um, yeah. Super soft. I love them. Uh, check them out on the website, guys. Uh, let us know if you like it. Buy some shirts, buy some hats, buy some decals so we can keep making videos and hopefully not choking on any more bones. Like and subscribe.